As somebody who short sales the market every day, even in bullish conditions, I think I have some information for you. In today's video, I'm going to brief you on sell the news, which is the exact technical analysis of the thought process to short a trade. I'm going to show you some of the steps that we do in setting up our charts. We're also going to include bonus ideas about indicators that you can use in this market. The first thing to consider when short selling is you're always up against resistance. And that's why we like using channels. When shorting against resistance in an ascending channel, it results in a counter trend trade, not giving you much room for a profit. A better probability would be a horizontal channel. When short selling gets a horizontal channel resistance, the range of price movement is bigger, so it'll give you more profit. But the biggest moves will be in a descending channel. The trend is your friend until the end, and these impulse waves lower will give you the biggest profits. So the question is, how do we draw these channels? Because there's lots of indicators on the market. And maybe reversal chart patterns can help us with this. Bearish double top, bearish head and shoulders, or bearish rising wedge before price turns and goes lower. Which one of these reversal patterns do you think has the highest success rate? Comment below A, B, or C. And the answer's at the end of the video. So if I were to use a move in average, that means I wouldn't clearly be able to identify where to enter into the trade until we went under the move in average, which leads to a missed opportunity of making profits. And when shorting the market, we want the best opportunities. Smallest amount of risk, biggest reward. And for me, that's why I like using the polynomial channels. The polynomial prints right on your chart, like this example on Macy's five year one day showed us yesterday that price was up against resistance so we did a video on it today it's down almost five percent as you can see here you like the one year one day chart better great here we are polynomial resistance showed us the perfect area to get into the trade yesterday and today it's already selling off in short selling form using this resistance knowing that price will go lower at least fill the gap the polynomial gives us a support line as a first target from where we entered that's over 20 percent then for a longer time frame you can use the lower band of the polynomial this is a perfect short selling system you like getting in and out of your trades quicker here's the polynomial on the 15 day 15 minute up against resistance remember that pattern that we showed you head and shoulders and you can see we're almost to the first target a complete gap fill of this price movement here you take your profits at the lower polynomial band now for a little bit of technical analysis on trade setups when in short selling as we mentioned before when in an uptrend and you short sell against this resistance it gives you the smallest amount of profit when short selling horizontal resistance the moves are bigger and more defined and when considering the bull trend the impulse wave is the biggest and such is the same on bearish trades the impulse wave of a bearish trend is always going to be the best place to short sell giving you the most amount of profits uptrending stock polynomial resistance gives you the smallest amount of profit because it's counter trend trade short selling right here take profits at the midpoint let your runners run down to the bottom channel and again uptrend price comes into the resistance of the polynomial channel and the profits weren't much counter trend trade and again went down to the midpoint but didn't make it down to the lower band counter trend trade and you have the next setup here for short sale now let's talk about horizontal channels giving you more profit. The polynomial is great for this. If you would have short sold off this resistance level, you can see price easily came down to the center point, taking your profits and took a little bit longer to come down to the support of the lower band before reversing the trend. And the polynomial does such a great job of finding these horizontal resistance levels, giving you a great place to enter a short selling position. Take some of your profits at the midpoint and let your runners run all the way down to the support level. These horizontal setups happen all the time. Break outside the band, get into the trade, but don't enter all your money so you can double down if price goes higher up against this resistance level. But you're in the trade so that way as price falls off, you can go ahead and start making all of those amazing profits. In a case like this, you'd have to consider taking your profits off at the mid band, which you see a lot of other support or letting your runners run down to this support level or even lower. The polynomial gives you a lot of clear choices so that you can work out your trading system the way that you want. Are you ready for the best part of this? Bearish continuation trades lower. When you're in a down polynomial channel and price is up against resistance, that will give you the biggest move down. And I don't know if you've ever done this, but I've done it a hundred times where I draw in a channel using support and resistance and I identify that resistance resistance but take the profit at support missing all of this opportunity and that's what i like about the polynomial because it gives me insight and a visual look that i can't create myself allowing my runners to run is a great thing for profits polynomial up against resistance comes to the first target a couple weeks later comes all the way down to the bottom support line wouldn't you be upset if you missed out on all this profit that's an additional 20 percent move that you could have made here's a trade that i'm currently in polynomial up against resistance i got into the trade with a little bit more technical analysis of head and shoulders pattern. I've took my first profits here and currently 
price is still selling off down 8% today. Because I made my money here, I can afford the risk to see if this thing goes a little bit lower. Have you heard of a small company called Upstart? The polynomial channel even works on them. Up against resistance, a couple days later, earnings and price fell right to the lower band of the polynomial. This is a great trading system. Polynomial makes another horizontal channel showing you the perfect place to enter into the trade as price quickly goes down to the middle band and sells off much lower. Chalope outside the band, enter a trade, goes right to the first target, maybe horizontal support or let your runners run down to the lower band. Drum roll! If you pick the head and shoulders pattern, you're right. 85% of the time it works out, making it the top reversal pattern for short selling. If you're tired of watching the market go up and down and not knowing exactly where to get in, then I want you to imagine using the polynomial channel for yourself. Having this software program identify exactly where you should enter and where you should take your targets. If you like these trade setups, then subscribe. If you want to use the polynomial channel to find great places to short sale the market, then click on the link in the description. Either way, I wish you the best in trading.